Hello everyone, I'm Greg Funderburg and I'll be your host on this magical journey in partnership with Artsville called Imagine. Through Imagine, we will introduce you to the arts through performances and exhibits through a whole bunch of cool local arts organizations right here in Chattanooga and Hamilton County. In each of these videos, you will get an opportunity to see inside and behind the scenes at all of these wonderful arts organizations from visual arts, music, dance, theater, and more. So you can experience them like never before. Today, we'll be exploring the Creative Discovery Museum. The Creative Discovery Museum inspires all children to explore, innovate, create, and because of that, they help to make our community the best place for a child to grow up. So come along with us as we experience the arts here in our community. Hi everyone, I'm Greg and we are here at the Creative Discovery Museum with my friend Kirsten. How's it going? It's going great, thanks. So good to be here today. Also, we got to know about what is the Creative Discovery Museum and also tell us a bit about the history behind this museum. Okay, well Creative Discovery Museum is a children's museum in downtown Chattanooga. It wants children just like you to explore, innovate, create, and play. And maybe you visited us before. We've been here for 25 years. There are a lot of exhibits for you to play in, from Excavation Station, where you can dig for dinosaur bones. Right now we're in River Play, where you can play with the water. Or you can be in Arts Alley, where you can create your own works of art. This is some really cool stuff and I'm enjoying my time here, but I have to ask you another question. Creative Discovery Museum has other wonderful art experiences too. So artists in residence spend so much time at the museum and teach visitors about their art and also Creative Discovery Museum has some amazing cultural events. Tell us about some of those events. So some of our cultural events include Chinese New Year, which we celebrate every year in February. We celebrate the Chocolate Festival, which is a delicious event, mm -hmm. and it celebrates the Guatemalan culture in our community. And we have several other folk and traditional arts events that highlight a variety of cultures and art forms. For example, kite making. Pretty cool stuff. And also I have to ask you today, we will be exploring the topic of art. You know, art comes in so many different forms, so it can be in the form of music and paintings and sculptures and plays, storytelling and so much more. We're going to be talking about creating art using a specific material and that is clay, my friend. So for folks who don't know, what is clay and where does it come from? So clay is a natural earthy material made from tiny sand and rock particles that you find in dirt. You can smell it, you can touch it, and you can even make things out of it. That is so cool. So what are some things we can make with clay? So people have been using clay to make things for centuries. Clay is very moldable, so you can round it out and make it into a pot or a cup. You can flatten it and make it a plate, or you can round it out to be a bowl or a vase. And one thing I really like to make are pinch pots, and I'm gonna show you how. So first you roll the clay into a ball. Then you use your thumb and you press into the middle of the clay. Be sure that you leave some room between your thumb and the bottom. Then using your fingers, you pinch and pull the sides, creating the shape that you'd like. And then once you get to that shape, you have your very own pinch pot. That is pretty cool. Also, how do you make the clay hard? So clay is a moist natural item. When moist clay is placed inside of a kiln or an oven and heated at a very high temperature, the clay hardens into a ceramic. That means the clay does not have any moisture in it anymore and it's hard enough to hold things like food, water, and other objects. It takes a very high temperature to turn clay into a ceramic. Here are the steps to make clay. Dig a shovel full of dirt. Place dirt in a tall bucket. Add water to cover dirt. Stir 
Stir with hand trowel until well mixed. This will take a few minutes. Stirring will help break up dirt clumps. As you stir, the clay, which is lighter in weight, will start to suspend in the water. Heavy particles will sink to the bottom. Allow water mixture to set for 20 minutes. A little at a time, pour water mixture through a sieve and into a container. The suspended clay in the water will pass through the sieve, but larger particles will get caught in the strainer. Larger particles include leaves, grasses, sticks, and rocks. Leave water mixture in a container overnight, uncovered. Scoop out clay from the bottom of the container. The clay will be solid at this point. Place the clay in a pillowcase, close and hang for a few hours to drain excess water. Remove clay from the bag and start to shape. Soak the clay in water if it's too hard. What a great trip we took today. Be sure to share your journey today with your friends and family and join us right here next time for an exciting local arts adventure.